In this lecture, we'll talk about morale and its relation to motivation. An important concept for human relations is morale. While we spend a considerable amount of time discussing motivation, morale is also very important. We define morale as an employee's attitude to his or her employer and other, and other employees or colleagues. High morale contributes to high levels of productivity and high return to stakeholders, and it, gives, it provides also employee loyalty to the firm, which causes them to want the organization to succeed. Let's talk for a moment about levels of morale and the differences they have or they cause. High morale contributes to high levels of productivity, high, and as a result, high returns to shareholders, to stakeholders, as people work hard to achieve the organization's goals. Also creates employee loyalty. Low morale, on the other high, hand, may cause high rates of absenteeism and turnover. Turnover is when employees quit or are fired and therefore must re be replaced. This causes workforce disruption as well as it can be quite expensive. Absenteeism can cost the company as much as 36% of its payroll. Sometimes you have to hire more people just to cover absentee and to make sure that you have trained employees when there's turnover. So there are significant, significant consequences to low levels of morale. Let's talk about rewards, intrinsic and extrinsic rewards. Employees are motivated by their perception of their extrinsic, meaning from the outside, and intrinsic, meaning internal or from the inside, rewards. An intrinsic reward is that personal satisfaction and enjoyment you feel from attaining a goal. For example, in this class, you may feel personal enjoyment in learning about how business works, and you may aspire to have a career in business or to operate your own business one day. Extrinsic rewards are the benefits and recognition that you receive from someone else. That is, you get a good grade or you get praise for, for work done, for, done well. Both intrinsic and extrinsic rewards contribute to motivation, and this is what stimulates employees to do their best in contribute, contributing to business goals. Let's talk about some important ways that you can boost morale in an organization. Um, several ways to do that are include respect, show someone respect and, and they feel better about their work. Appreciation, appreciation for what they do provides extrinsic reward, but also to a degree when people start feeling self-efficacy, they, they feel more intrinsically motivated as well. Providing them adequate compensation, for example, enough pay, another extrinsic reward. Um, promotion opportunities, uh, a pleasant work environment where they enjoy being there positive organizational culture that we talk about, talked about earlier, a good place to live. You feel comfortable there and you feel like you can trust your employees and your organization. Lots of things as a manager, one of the key jobs that you look at is, it, one of the key jobs that you have as a manager is to create the kind of environment that raises morale, morale helps intrinsic motivation, but also you provide the, the appropriate extrinsic motivation to move the organization in the direction of its goals. The next lecture, we'll talk about how you maintain good employees.